What is up guys, welcome back to another Arena of Power video and today as you can see we will be playing Zata in the middle lane. Now of course with this uh, new patch we have the 5 dash Zata in EU as well now and this is finally gonna be my little guide video about him because a lot of people are now even more confused with the Zata ult. They keep still asking me how do I walk with the Zata ult, how do I get these 4 or 5 dashes, how do I properly use this boy and Today we're going to be explaining everything. This is, this also ended up being a very very nice solo ranked gameplay that I recorded off stream where I played pretty clean. Okay, we have some amazing ultimates this game. I really uh, play very very aggressively as well, so it should be a lot of fun to check out. And we have some funny things happening. Okay, something involving Rui and Zata, but you will see. It's going to be pretty funny. Uh, usual Shirko fashion, but yeah, let's get into those tips. Because this is what this video is mainly going to be about. So first of all, the build, still using Forest Wonder. All the other things got nerfed. I already used Forest Wonder last patch. It makes sense, man. It's just so good. You always auto attack. You will apply that mark onto the enemy that won't just slow them, but also explode for 10% of their maximum health. So you really blow them. Uh, you really uh, poke them low with your ultimate. Maybe they will escape with a sliver of health sometimes, and then just. That Forest Wanderer pops and you get the kill, okay? So I really still like it. Now I changed my build, I go first item. Uh, Apocalypse, okay? We were trying to gank the, the little Richter and we are able to get an assist. The Tulan picks up the kill. It is a jungle Tulan, so we have a double mage situation going on. But that's completely fine. It's um, Especially in solo rank, Tulan jungle is a very strong pick. So there shouldn't be any issues with that. But yeah. We get an assist and take a look at this man, see? We get the 5 stacks and we finish him up, we just one shot him. Level 4, you can one shot anything, that's why I say this hero is absolutely OP okay now. And look, the Ryoma is complaining, nice hero, I agree man, this Zata needs nerfs, I'm telling you, he's so broken now. Uh, definitely a hero that you want to ban sometimes, here we juke him a little bit, we get the shield, by Wonder Woman and we finish him off with our ultimate. Beautiful. <laughs> there we go. Again, a very nice ult. You always want to weave in these auto attacks because let's get to the tips of this ultimate now. Um, that is how you unlock the fourth and the fifth dash. People are still confused about that. So whenever you auto attack, you can see the count on top of your head on a... <laughs> oh, no, 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 look at the top of his head, right? You just gotta look at the top of your Zata's head because that shows you how many uh, dashes you will have for this particular ult. And whenever, see, I am at three, I auto attack once, I'm at four, I auto attack again, I'm at five, and then auto attacking more often will just raise your damage because keep in mind, you always proc your... Uh, passive whenever you use your ult and the dash through um, one of your abilities you will proc your passive because it will proc that little passive explosion which will give you your um, enhanced auto attack passive which is exactly why we are building apocalypse first the rest of the build is pretty much still the same you go into that um, you go into that uh, evil secrets for magic peers then you go for a boomstick you can go for an for uh, what's it called? A Hecate, but I go for the Boomstick, but look at this man, again. We just always get these 5 dash ultimates, man. It does so much damage, you just gotta keep spamming those auto attacks, guys. This is what made this hero so broken now, okay? And yeah, so as I said, the big tip is that. Another big tip, huge tip, okay? Still, many people don't know it. I already said it in that, um, when I tested him out in on the test server, um, I already mentioned that there. But usually, if you only do three dashes on Zata, your third dash will have to hit an enemy or... Uh, look at this, this was so hilarious. I jumped and I got sent back to base. Now, honestly, whose fault is that? I would say it's Rui's fault, but it's all good, man. It's pretty funny. I was very upset. I was actually very tilted. I was like, really? <laughs> she just sent me back to base? But yeah, we went back to base. Pretty funny. Um... As I said, that third dash will have to hit an enemy or one of your abilities to proc that flying mode where you rain down onto the enemies. Look at this again. We just do so much damage here. Um, I went a little bit 
I should have gone one more dash on top of her, so this is still not a flawless gameplay. It's very difficult to play Zata flawlessly now. I will try to get better so I can show you some of these, but yeah, it's definitely um, very easy to make a lot of mistakes, okay? But as I'm saying, if you auto attack once, you will have four dashes, right? And then that fourth dash, you can just not hit anybody. You can just dash in any direction, doesn't have to hit anything, and it will still proc that flight mode. Same for the fifth dash. If you auto attack twice during your ult, uh, you get that fifth dash, right? That is also gonna proc um, without hitting anything, okay? But of course, the fourth dash will have to hit something if you have the five on top of your head, so you can get the fifth dash, okay? Otherwise, you just stop. So there's a lot of very um, weird, uh, like intricate details about this Zata right now. Look at this, this was a beautiful over the wall. We auto attacked the minion once and here, see, I walked. I walked by using the auto attack. We can go back real quick a little bit here. Let's, ju let's just go back a little bit here. See, I'm walking here because I'm spamming the auto attack and the Krixie is in range. So what my hero does is he just follows her, trying to get into auto attack range. I'm not touching the joystick. As soon as you touch the joystick, you will dash, okay? So that is also a very big tip that I use all the time in my Zata uh, games here. But yeah, what else is there? The, the, hu the two big ones, when you want to ele elevate your uh, Zata gameplay, it's gonna be that um, walk, with your ult, okay, by using the auto attack button, don't touch the joystick, use the auto attack button and you will walk into her range or into anyone's range if they're close by uh, and chase the enemy hero that way. The other big tip is you don't have to hit your fourth or your fifth dash if they are the last one for your combo, depending on if you have a four or a five on your head um, to proc your ult, okay? See, now I could have just dashed away from her and we would still get the ultimate. Of course, we want to dash on top of her because it does more damage. Every dash does damage as well, okay? So you can see, guys, this hero definitely became one of the most difficult heroes in the entire game. Uh, keep in mind, you can only unlock your bonus dashes if you actually attack somebody. You can't just attack in place, attack the air, attack nothing. You have to attack an enemy hero, an enemy minion, like I did in that bottom lane gank uh, on that Krixie under the tower. And here you can see, we just go deep here. Here, I actually wanted to attack again to get a fifth dash, so this was another mistake, but um, they just both disappeared out of range, so I wasn't able to attack, so that was a little bit unfortunate. But yeah, you can see, we are always, almost always, you wanna use four or five dashes now. Um, it's actually really high skill cap to decide when you want to use four or when you want to use five. It's really easy to just spam those auto attacks between every dash if you get the habit, okay? If you learn it, uh, you will see. If you guys commit a little bit more to Zata, you will see that the next step will be to learn when to only use four or five or even three dashes to not auto attack too much, okay? But yeah. We're definitely doing very well, but this is not... I mean, my team is faltering a little bit. I feel like 6-1-6, and 17-11, you know? Almost 7-11, not quite. We'll, we'll see. Uh, here, I'm trying... See, I, I walked again a little bit. See how far we can get, man. Like, that's just crazy. How is this balance? Check this out, guys. Look how far she is away. She dashes away, man. But look, I can just do two... We get auto attacks and boom, we're in her range, man. <laughs> it's crazy. See, that's what I'm talking about, man. I played this game so well. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see if I win or if it's going to be Shuriko fashion. Oh, no, 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 no. We'll see. Here, we don't have our ult right now. My team is fighting, which is completely fine. We have a very broken Wonder Woman as well. Here, the Ezreal, uh, the Tula, excuse me, is a little bit overextended. And um, here, I don't want to go too deep. You need to be really careful, okay? You need to be really careful here. See, we auto attack the tower, we get the five dashes, and he almost dies, not quite. Um, and he just, oh, just gets blown out. <laughs> uh, I Again, this was a little bit of a mistake because I dashed away with the last one. I thought I would only have four dashes, but I at attacked the minion, uh, the jungle minion, I believe, there. And then we got the fifth one, and then you. It's really easy to just pull that joystick into a wild direction, okay? And just dash away uh, accidentally 
but yeah, we'll see if we can do anything in this fight. I don't really remember, this was yesterday, but I don't really remember how this game turned out specifically. I know who wins. <laughs> Trust me, guys, I know who wins. Because if we uh, lose this, I would remember if we win this. It would be a crazy hard carry because these guys are just eating right now, man. Um, yeah, this was, by the way, a pretty good Rui. She got, of course, a pretty uh, big buff as well. So you guys can try her out as well. Here we just dash her away once. This is also a good tip. Just use that single dash oftentimes. Man, it's a five second cooldown. It's really, really good to just use that to traverse a little bit, to go over walls, to make roams faster. I still can't get over this zombie, man. Look at it. <laughs> I still cannot get over this zombie. It's so funny. But yeah, we're definitely in a pretty good spot. They are. There's a lot of enemies there in that thing. Look, look at this. Here, I'm trying, I'm trying, and we get stunned by the Wisp, man. Look at this. I even check, I tap on it because I'm mad. We get stunned by that little explosive cask of Wisp. So we get completely blown out. Blown out. It is what it is. And now we'll see if my team can do anything. They are going wild, though. This is an absolute clown fiesta. He is just pushing, and it seems like he'll get it. He's getting it, and he gets away, it seems like. She kicks him away. I couldn't believe it. He goes back in. He gets a kill. I don't think you can kill him, right? Oh, never mind, man. They're just smurfing. <laughs> They're just smurfing. See, here I was like, okay, good, good, good. We're fine. I died once. It's fine. I mean, I died twice, but this was like a really bad death. The first one, it secured a lot of kills, you know, that was completely fine. But this one was, we got stunned by Wisp. It, would, it was close. If we got one more dash, I would have clowned on the enemies. But yeah, um, we absorb this huge bottom lane wave. I'm trying to think if there's any other tips to give you guys. I mean, a very basic one is how you want to wave clear in the early game. You auto attack before the wave arrives, just nothing, just in the air. You auto attack twice, so you have your passive. You walk up to the wave, passive through the whole, the auto attack through the whole wave. S1, S2, which forces an explosion to trigger, which also gives you your auto attack passive, so you can instantly apply another auto attack passive. And the whole wave is cleared at level 2 even. Okay, level 2 and 3, you can already one-shot the wave with this trick. You should always do that. It's also part of what makes this hero really broken. I'm taking red buff here because no one is taking it. We have a tool in jungle, he's in thing. It does not matter, okay? That is what I'm talking about. They actually survived with that portal. That was actually clean. They killed one and then survived. And now let's see um, if we can do well in this next team fight, okay? Because uh, let's see if this wisp will be able to uh, destroy us again or not. Because that stun is really good against Zata. You know where he's going. You just throw it at him. And with the rework of Wisp, it doesn't have to hit the wall. It just hits somebody. You dash into it. You're done -zo, Okay? So that is a big deal. Now, um, my teammates are doing really well. I just want to get this tower. But then I realize maybe I can go there. So uh, we just rain on them. Look at the seat. The last dash was on nothing. It was on nothing. Um, and we are still able to get that ult off. And uh, yeah, with some nice fleet footwork. We dash around, we outplay the Wisp, and here I'm trying to stay greedy a little bit, okay? Because our ult is already up again. Uh, we try to stay a little bit greedy for this Ryoma, but I quickly realize he probably healed too much with his ultimate on the minions. Yeah, he's. I can't kill him from that health because he has a medallion of Troy. Now this game, if it... Um, I wanted to sell my evil secrets in the very late game and buy a Staff of Nu because of course uh, they have Richter, they, they just have so much magic resistance. See, again, five dashes. Here again, we use another round of abilities before we actually finish the dash, uh, before we actually start that ult, because I wanna get him as low as possible. If I had Staff of Null there, we would have one-shot him. Unfortunately, he's a little bit too tanky. We give the red buff over to Hayati, of course. And yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Guys, this is a fat, oh no, 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 I'm not gonna lie, look at this. I mean, I'm smurfing hard, but my team is inting a little bit. And watch this, check this out. I see the see the wisp man, and I try to dash on top of her, but she stuns me once again, man. And then I only had three dashes. I had to quickly finish my ult. It was enough of damage to finish them up. And now everybody on my team decides to completely int, and I'm not sure if we even come back from this. Let me see. The timer is saying no, quad kill for this wisp. I just start the surrender mode, man. 
because I think it's GG. They, we have like 20 seconds remaining on everybody at least. And I'm sure they can end this by that time. So yeah, <laughs> similar Shirko fashion. It is what it is, you know? Um, what can I say? Still taking the L's. I mean, if you're watching my streams nowadays, you know I'm the L taker, number one. But yeah, I hope this, this helped you a little bit with your wisp. I didn't rage quit, I misclicked. I didn't rage quit, I misclicked. I misclicked, guys. I always think I can pull uh, down to uh, cancel the sc screen recording, you know? But it's actually pulling up from up because it's different on iPhone. Okay, chill, guys. I didn't rage quit. There we go. We didn't do too much damage because, um, yeah, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. At this point, guys, what can I say? What did you expect? Did you expect me to win? Seriously, are you watching my streams? I'm losing every game. It is what it is. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you still have any confusion, let me know in the comments below. I'll um, make more Zotha videos, of course. And if there's any more confusion, I can address these things in future videos. With that being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, ring that notification bell with all notifications enabled so you don't miss any of my uploads. And with that being said, I will see you guys next time. Peace out, boys. Bye-bye.